Alright guys, in this video, I'll be showing you guys the best render or export settings in After Effects 2020. I've been using these settings forever and I had no problem with it at all. I had so many people asking me that they were having problems with exporting videos or if there are any good settings, so here it is. Now you'll need Adobe Media Encoder to export videos and you should have this if you already have After Effects, but if you don't, just simply go to your Adobe Creative Cloud app and search Media Encoder and download it. Now let's not waste any more time and get right into the video. Now as I said before, you obviously need Media Encoder to actually export videos, so I'm going to be teaching guys how to get that. Uh, if you have uh, Adobe After Effects, you should already have it, but if you don't, go ahead and uh, hit your Windows key, search Adobe Creative Cloud, and it'll be right there. If you don't already have that, again, search it in Google or something and install it, and go ahead and click that. And then all you want to do is go to all apps, go to the um, search bar, and you just want to search Media Encoder. It should open this page, and then it should be in the app section. You just want to click it, and click install or download or something like that. Now you can go ahead and close your Adobe Creative Cloud and open up your After Effects. Alrighty, so I have a test footage right here. I actually made this. Uh, this is available for all my Arial Plus uh, people. And you can also purchase it in my official store if you want to buy it. It's a little Christmas subscribe animation. I really like it. I think it matches the Christmas theme if you want to get into that Christmas spirit. But anyways, let's say that you want to export this project, right? All you want to do is click file and click export and then go to add to adobe media encoder queue but anyways click this button now right after that this thing should pop up so first off what you want to do is go to edit preferences and you all want to copy down my settings uh general here's the, so you can pause the video if you want to right now general appearance audio hardware media metadata memory and sync settings so all you want to do is copy down these settings and click ok if you want my exact exporting settings now to move on to my actual exporting settings all you want to do is click this preset option right here match source and high bitrate you want to click that and then you want to just wait for the loading thing to end and then this little thing should pop up so my exporting settings are actually a default preset of after effects I've tried so many different custom exporting settings and all that, but these were the best settings for me and for like my videos. So if you want to copy these down, go ahead and feel free to copy these down. So go ahead and check export video, export audio. Now I'm good. I'm just going to be scrolling down through all these settings so you guys can copy down while watching the video. So basic video settings right here. So here, it should be differed from your uh, composition size. For example, if you're exporting in 1080p, it should be in 90, 1920 by 1080. But I'm exporting it in 4K, so it should be in 30, 40, 2160. All right, now my frame rate is 60. Field order is progressive. Aspect is square pixels. Render at maximum depth is not checked. Encoding settings, performance, hardware encoding. Profile, main, level, 5.2. Uh, these are all not checked. Mastering, display, color, volume. I'm just going to be scrolling down through all these. You guys can copy it. Now, this is also pretty important. If you have a movement, if you have like a video that has a lot of movement in it, for example, gaming, you might want to move, move this up a bit more. But the more you uh, move this up, the bit rate the longer it will take to export and it's really really annoying when it takes forever to export and you should know that and these are you you don't really need to change all these but if you want to you can but i'm gonna be using these settings now these are advanced settings vr video you, you don't really need to know that because you're probably not exporting it in vr these are effects it's gonna be scrolling down Now audio, audio format settings, AAC, audio format, basic audio settings, AAC, 48,000 hertz, stereo, oh god, I accidentally changed the channels, yep, it's stereo, and audio quality is high, bit rate is 320, precedence is bit rate, and let's go to multiplexer, I don't think these really matter, it might, probably, 
yeah i think you should choose mp4 like that's the most common file format st stream comp stream compatibility is standard captions i don't really know these are default publish i don't think you really need to know these because these are like publishing from after effects media encoder to like adobe stock adobe creative cloud you don't really need to copy these down now you can check the maximum render quality if you're just into that high quality stuff but i don't really need to i are, i'm already exporting it in 4k which is high quality enough so i'm not going to be checking that now frame sampling is on you really don't need to copy these down but if you want to go ahead and then it will show you the estimated file size right here 7 megabytes which is really good uh it's a five second clip it's my subscribe animation I think it's a really really good and decent file size that's enough to send in discord because discord file limit is 8 megabytes i think so go ahead and click ok once you do that and this should show like custom these are my custom uh, exporting settings now you can always save this like as, as a preset and once you click here and then go ahead and click this save preset button and you can name it anything you want i think and just go ahead and click ok you can choose that preset every time you export and you'll have no problem now for the format you always want to choose h.264 because that is the how do you say mp4 file and mp4 file is like accessible to anyone you can view it from anywhere i think it's just the best file format you can choose your output file location anywhere that's pretty simple you can name it anything you want and then if you want to export it just click this button and it will start exporting Alright, but I'm going to be stopping the exporting because I already have this exported into my computer. But I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this super, super quick tutorial. Uh, it was just my simple exporting settings, but you guys really want to know my settings. I, I don't know why. It's pretty, it's pretty simple and default. But here it is. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps you out. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.